I don't remember the last time we managed to get through a week without reporting on Boeing's faulty planes. It's just Monday and Boeing is back to 9 p.m. news with mid-air mishaps. Things are coming apart once again. It began with a plug door, then a tire, a part of the fuselage, then disappeared mid-air. And now we have an engine carving coming off. It fell off a Boeing 737 plane during takeoff. What is an engine cowling first? It is the part that covers the plane's engine. On the 7th of April, the engine cowling of a Southwest flight came apart mid-air. It collided with the wing flap of the aircraft. The moment was captured by some terrified passengers aboard. Take a look. Uh, my present heading, do you need to run a checklist? Yeah, we're going to need some time. It, it, for, for now, everything's okay. Uh, and we don't even know the nature of it, but apparently uh, several passengers and flight attendants heard something loud hit the wing. So we're just going to take our time, get set up, and be ready to go. Thank you. That was 3695, no problem. You can expect vectors. In fact, reports quoted a passenger as saying, People in the exit row started yelling at the flight attendants and showing them the damage. We turned around and made a full speed landing. Southwest flight 3695 left Denver International Airport at 7.49 a.m. local time. It was supposed to head to Houston. There were 135 passengers and six crew members on board. The plane had climbed to about 10,300 feet. It had to turn around and return to Denver 25 minutes after taking off. After the plane made an emergency landing, it had to be towed to the gate. America's Federal Aviation Administration, or the FAA, is now investigating the incident. What has Southwest said? The airline said it would review the jet, adding that it was responsible for the maintenance of such parts. Sure, but the big question here is, why do incidents like these keep happening to Boeing planes? The American plane maker started the year with a mid-air scare. On the 5th of January, a door panel blew out mid-air. It was a new 737 MAX plane operated by Alaska Airlines. When the incident happened, the plane was cruising at 16,000 feet. no one was injured. Concerns increased. United Alaska found loose parts on 737 MAX planes. Inspections were conducted in India as well. Parts were found missing from Boeing 737 MAX planes. Airlines like Alaska and United also reported concerns. Few weeks ago, the CEO, Dave Calhoun, then announced he would be stepping down by the year end. In his letter, Boeing CEO Calhoun called the Alaska Airlines 1282 accident a quote-unquote watershed moment for Boeing, adding that we must continue to respond to this accident with humility and complete transparency. We also must inculcate a total commitment to safety and quality at every level of our company. Just last week, we learned that Boeing paid $160 million to Alaska Air as compensation for the losses that the airline suffered as a result of the grounding of the fleet. We also learned that earlier this year, Boeing's outgoing CEO gave up a $2.8 million bonus on the heels of the Alaska Air incident. But to what end? I mean, while these financial compensation sacrifices may seem generous to some, how is either of that guaranteeing passenger safety? It's not. My point here is very simple. This is a story about passenger safety. Every week, we are forced to come face to face with the safety problem with Boeing planes. Every day, millions of people fly Boeing planes at any moment. At this very moment, some 500,000 people are estimated to be in the air on a plane. Many are flying Boeing planes. Where is the guarantee that these passengers are safe? No one was injured in the Southwest incident, thankfully. It was a closed shave, much like the other Boeing disasters this year. In March, a tire of a Boeing plane fell off mid-air. There were 235 passengers, 10 flight attendants, four pilots on board the United Airlines plane flying from San Francisco to Osaka. The plane was forced to make an emergency landing.
in March, a Boeing 787 plane operated by Latam Airlines suddenly dropped mid-air. 13 had to be rushed to the hospital after the plane made an emergency landing. And later that month, a cabin panel fell off a Boeing plane. There were 139 passengers on board. So far, luck has been favoring passengers on board Boeing scarecraft. But what's the guarantee? That streak will continue unbroken. Things have been turbulent for Boeing since 2018-19. That's when two back-to-back -back crashes involving Boeing 737 MAX jets killed 346 people. All MAX jets were grounded globally. They managed to take off again after 18 long months. But nothing really changed on the ground. To stay up to speed with the latest news, download the Weon app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.